Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt as I wore in yesterday's episode. Yes, I think that's perfectly acceptable. I can do what I want now. I'm mastering the Serie A. No matter where I go, I smash it. I'm enjoying this colour palette of grey. It's a lot like my personality. Bland and slightly depressing. <laughs> Only joking, guys. I'm a live wire. You can't tell me what to do. The board can, though. But fortunately, they've not needed to get too angry at me because, everybody, we are back, baby. Look at that. Suddenly, from nowhere, we are up into ninth in the league off the back of four straight victories. I mean, I'm, 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 just, I'm getting too flustered myself. It's ridiculous. We were actually unbeaten in six, if you put it all together, until we had that game against Cagliari. That's actually the only point we dropped in our last five games, including a win over Spau in the Italian Cup, which is very, very good. In the meantime, we beat Monza, Bologna and Brescia. The important thing to notice is how many goals we are scoring. We are free-flowing up front. We're just a bit poor at the back. Now, originally, we were kind of going to come back for the Brescia and Lazio games, and then I realised there was the win to break, and I didn't fancy doing an episode where we had Brescia, and then a two-week break until we played Lazio. So today, we're going to be playing Lazio and Torino. But there have also been some changes to personnel in the squad, because it is January, which means I have made signings, and the squad is beginning to take shape. I've only made one more sale since the last time we met, which is that Manolo Gabbiadini has finally gone to Cagliari for £4.2 million. Not bothered about that in the slightest. Didn't even feature for me. But I have made some brand new signings, and one in particular is very exciting. You can see him up the top, Samuel McKendy. I'll show you him in a second. But in the meantime, we've also signed this boy, Misael, who is uh, a left-back and definitely one for the future. I can't bring him in at the moment because I'm only allowed a couple of non-EU signings a period. And at the moment, I've got a couple of other non-EU players that I'm looking to sell off. As soon as they're gone, I can bring this boy in. Bought him in for a whopping... 10 million pounds, uh, but he is actually quite good, I like to think. Technically, he can get better, but he's 18 years old. The mentals are good, physicals are good. He's going to be a great player. Tackling a 17 excites me a lot, but not as much as Samuel McKendie excites me. Oh, dear God. Wow. 23 and a half million pounds is not what I paid fully up front for him. I actually only paid 10 million pounds up front for him, but with bonuses and installments, this guy could be amazing. Just the determination in 19 stands out. His physicality at only 18 years old stands out. Mentals for days. Decision 17. Vision 16. Off the ball 16. Work rate 13. Very, very solid. 15 composure. 15 first touch. Passing 17. Technique 18. He could be the best player since Simba Bentley on this channel. And I don't say that lightly because we all know how I loved Simba Bentley in FM20, this guy, for me, could be just as good. He genuinely could be just as good. He's absolutely superb. And you're going to see him play today as well. Get excited. The new gens are coming out. It's that time of the game. This is where I suddenly come into my own, where the scouting and all the staff work I've done behind the scenes comes to the fore. We're still playing the formation we were playing before. The diamond seemingly worked quite well. I switched between that and the 4-3-3. Once we go ahead, I tend to switch to the 4-3-3 and I make it work from there. There's also been a few changes in personnel which have helped. Amrabat's been really poor this year, so he has now officially been dropped. And I am even thinking of selling him. But I think it would be a bit of a daft decision, maybe, to get rid of him if I couldn't think or get someone better in. Uh, Bubakar Kamara at the moment is actually the guy who's playing in that deep line playmaker role and he's doing very well. So, with that in mind, then today we're going to kick off our first game. Muller is in goal. Baragi, Milankovic, Vuskovic, and Yaseda make up the back four. Ignore the, the orange line there. I'm just ignoring it, pretending it doesn't exist. Uh, Kamara, McKendie, Castrovili make up the midfield three for the first time. Trincao is playing as a second striker and playing very well in that position with Kwame and Juranovic, who are playing very well up front. Juranovic, by the way, is beginning to turn into the kind of player I hoped that he would be. He's been absolutely brilliant in the last few games. 
especially against Bologna, where we went 2-1 behind and he scored a fu- Sorry, we went 2-0 down. He scored a five-minute hat-trick that took us all the way back up, obviously, to go on and win the game 4-2. He was incredible. This is going to go a long way to deciding whether we can potentially challenge four European places or if we are just kind of there to make up the numbers and then just finish in mid-table. I think as many people probably predicted that we would. But you never know. You never know. A good run of form on FM can go on for quite a while. So let's see how we get on as Luis Alberto whips the ball in. It's obviously Chiro Mobley and Correa are the players we need to watch out for today as Correa goes through and nearly bangs one in within the first eight minutes. But yeah, that front three of Correa, Immobile and Gabriel Barbosa is a little bit scary. Especially because you can get at us down the wings for obvious reasons. I think that my formation is beginning to take a little bit of shape and the players are beginning to get used to it. I think if I can improve the fullbacks, we could be really, re- we could do well with this formation next year. As Kwame goes for it into Trincao, can't believe he's missed. Juranovic, oh, I thought he was going to hit it first time. Back end, McKendy, oh, it was nearly on his debut. He literally gets to everything in the air, Juranovic. He just can't direct it in on goals. Castrovilli plays into McKendy. Oh my God, Samuel McKendy. He scored on his deck, I told you. He could be better than Bentley. He could be better than Simba Bentley. What a finish this is. Castrovilli is loving this. Look at this for a little layoff. And McKendy, I mean, that is... Say what you want about the goalkeeping, but what a finish. He looks a decent choice already, says the commentator. Damn right he does. Unbelievable. I love my scouts. You can't even say it, but he's not even got a position. He plays where he wants. He's, he's broken the central midfield left slot. I don't believe it. I'm so happy with the performance, boys. Keep it up. We started off a little bit shaky. Correa got in, but ever since then, we've just upped it a little bit. And obviously, a wonder goal from our brand new son in McKendy is just... Yes, I'm turning this squad into one of my own now. It's got a micromunch flavour to it. It's young, it's exciting, it's physical. Kuame to your average! Yeah, boy! Love that there. Sally Makers gives the ball away. Kuame, it's a brilliant pass here from him. Juranovic has the pace to get in. First time shot into the far corner. Lazio are stumped. Should we have a quick check, actually, just to see? Oh, that actually takes us up into the top eight and not too far away from, dare I say it, the European positions. I shouldn't have changed anything. I shouldn't have changed anything. Sir Mobley, what a finish. I shouldn't have changed anything. I don't want to watch it again. What what was it on? Uh, Lazio formation. There you go. I um, I'm never allowed to celebrate for too long, am I? I'm not allowed to have nice things. Oh, do I take us off now and do I go to the 4-3-3? It's what I've been doing when I've wanted to kind of shut the game down, but we've actually been playing better with the Diamond today. I, I feel like we've been pretty secure-ish. They've not really made that many chances. McKendy's won the ball back again there. Kuama, use your pace, mate. McKendy to Trinkau. McKendy is absolutely dominating this midfield right now. He's absolutely dominating this midfield. If we can get a third, I'll then change to the 4 3 3. Juranovic on the ball, gone. Decent ball in. He tees it back. Yaseda hits it. Oh my god, how's that not gone in? He's hit the post. I'm just watching. I'm just watching the time at the moment. Four minutes of injury time, and there's a highlight, and it's in our half, and we've just thrown the ball straight back to them. Ivan. <gasps> Juranovic, God, please make them pay. Juranovic to Kuame. Must be. What an unbelievable save from Omen. I mean, come on now. Right, it's time now. I know we've been really good with the diamond. It's time to switch around. Juranovic stays up front. Kuame's coming off. Um, I'm going to bring on... Do I, mm, I'm going to bring on Oral Mangala because he's a little bit more defensive-minded. Trincao's going to go out and play in the inverted winger on the right. Castrovilli, inverted winger on the left. Mangala's going to go back box-to-box midfielder. McKendy can be the deep-lying playmaker. We're just going to sit back... Just just relax. As Kuame heads over the bar, that's his last bit of action for the day. Get in! 2-1 at home to Lazio. That's a big win. That's a really big win. If I can somehow sneak into the Europa League positions for next year, we're in business and this has worked out superbly. Luis Castro's not happy, so they took Fiorentina for granted. Too right you did, mate. We We turned up. We smashed it. So where's that left us then? We're eighth. We're three points off Lazio in sixth. I mean, we're too far behind to think about Champions League. That's nine points, but I don't know. Maybe no. Come on, mate. Be be serious. One game at a time. So next up is Torino. Roma dropped points against Bologna. That is great news for us. That is brilliant news for me, particularly. Get in. It's all coming together now. 
I'm keeping an eye out for other centre backs because obviously Milenkovic is the is the fly in the ointment here. I, I can't believe it's become like my favourite phrase. I mean, who'd want to be some ointment? Let's be fair here. Well, big news that Santiago Rodriguez is going to be moving, which is great news. Brenner's moved from. I really was interested in Brenner. I always like Brenner on this game. But he's moved to Munch and Gladbach. At least that's weakened Juventus, probably. Rodriguez is gone, which is fine, because I've already got a replacement in mind for him. And hopefully, we may even get to see him today. And Sammy rejects Wolves. I mean, mate, you are really beginning to piss me off. I'm just clearing out the bad eggs that aren't going to be here for a while. Ah, here we go. So no offers for Insame. That's annoying. Go try and persuade him to get a new club. Sorry, I have no intention of leaving. Well, 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 fella. Well, you can just... You're, you're going to keep getting offered out, mate. Because Bournemouth and apparently Leicester are after you. This is the next kid I'm bringing in. And oh my god, yes. Demian Aim. Another very, very talented uh, young player coming up. And obviously now I can put him in because I've got rid of Santiago Rodriguez, who is my non-EU player. This guy, again, technically brilliant. He could play as the advanced playmaker. At the moment, Trincao's playing there. He's playing there quite well. But I think this guy, once Trincao moves back, because I'll never be able to afford him from Barcelona, this guy is the future. Physically, he could do a little bit better. Okay, I'm not going to pretend that that's not a little disappointing. But the mentals and the technicals are enough for me to think, yes, I'm become making our team very technically good. 16.5 million overall, 9 million pounds up front. Very, very decent deal. And I've accepted a bid for Ensame, and I think I'm going to have to be a bit of a knob. Um, which is not something, obviously, I I ever do. But I'm going to criticise his conduct. Yeah, I'll openly admit it. I'm being a dick. I'm I'm just forcing him out. Got a slight issue here, because Demian Aim is apparently a non-EU player. I thought once I got rid of Rodriguez, I could register him. And it doesn't look like they're giving me the opportunity to. Mons have just been into 4-0. What is what is this league? What is happening? Juve dropped points as well. I mean, let's not worry about that, Mike, because we're not in that race, okay? We're, we're literally in that, this little race with Sassuolo, Roma, Torino, Lazio, and Napoli, okay? that That's the race that we're in. Pick your horses, Mike. Well, Misael has actually been moved into the Brazilian under-23 squad, which is good. But let's not worry about that. We've got Torino. Now, they're just behind us, okay? So it's important that we get through this game. And win it comfortably. Oh, this is really annoying me. Demian Aim is a non-EU player who can't be registered at present and therefore is unavailable for this match. Well, we'll keep an eye on that because I thought that I'd done everything that I needed to to ensure that I could register him. A.K.A. I sold Santiago Rodriguez. So the game has lied to me, which I'm not particularly happy about. Either way... All we can do is do what we've been doing so far, which is playing very well and winning games. I'm going to go with the same team. Hopefully we get to see McKendy play really well again. Let's go. This is not looking good here as Torino. Move it through. Belotti. He's the danger man. We all know the powers that Andrea and all the attributes that Andrea Belotti presents. But is that... No, it's not. I don't believe it. I didn't even notice it before the game. Pedro Nuno has gone to Torino. Sporting, what are you doing? Who's manager now? Thierry Henry replaced me at Sporting Lisbon. Well, I mean, in some ways, I take that as a massive compliment because he's obscenely good looking and obviously was excellent at football. Both of the things I am not, but really? Right, drink out on the ball. Come on, boys, let's win this. Jovanovic, is... <laughs> his head. His head is a mystery to me, as I'm sure it should be. Decent tackle by Castrovilli. Mm, come on, boys. We've got to win this back high up the pitch. The minute they get it wide, I'm in trouble. They're moving it nicely. Belotti's in. He's not going to miss that. Oh, good save by Muller. Well done, mate. He didn't quite put it in the corner. Oh, one Muller corner joke a day. Keeps keeps the, the morale up in the dressing room. You can imagine that the guys love it. Florian in particular loves it. Don't you, Florian? Bloody hate it. Oh, all right, fine. Good ball there by Baragi. Come on, mate. Good ball in. Baragi to Kua. Mm, the finishing, man. The finishing. Set it outside the post and bend it. Don't just try and hit it down the bloody near post. Why are you doing that? It's not FIFA. Ricky Puig. Oh, my God. they got Ricky Puig. What a legend. Ricky Puig. Muller's having an absolute belter. I mean, we've made chances, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Yeah, that's a good header by Yoseda. Go on, win that trink out. Castrovili. Good win. 
Yep, play him in. Juranovic must be. Juranovic. The goalie's having a good game. Gasparini and our strikers are being a bit profligate. I mean, this is literally just highlight after highlight. Muller, that is one of, what, what, one of the best saves you will ever see. What a game. For a nil-nil, it's one of the more entertaining nil-nils you'll ever see. Um, I guess I, oh, God, they're not happy with what I just said. I said I was happy with the performance, and they're not. I mean, I'll take that as a good sign. Come on, boys, give me a break. You've played well. Been a bit of a quieter second half as Verdi whips the ball in. We head it clear. Oh, not not you, mate. Come on. Be be a friend, Pedro Nuno. I help rebuild your career, mate. <gasps> That's a poor ball, Juranovic. Kuame's got to get there. He has Kuame! Get in! There it is! It's the dynamic Joe. It's his 14th goal. 14th? 14th? 14th goal of the season. Boom! Christian Kuame and Juranovic together. Like York and Cole, like Anton Deck, like peanut butter and jam, jelly to American viewers. Boom! Right, you say it is coming off, and on comes Vojvoda. Now, can we just go and get a second? McKendie tees it. Kamara to Castrovilli. That. Oh my word, what have I just seen? What a goal. Watch this. Baragi, brilliant header down by McKendie to Kamara. He lays it off. Standing position, the power, the accuracy, the dip. Fiorentina are absolutely on flames right now and that takes us up into sixth in the league bring on europe bring it on mckendie is tired and he's going to come off he's had a very very good start to his career though in a fiorentina shirt on comes mangala box to box roll for you my friend juranovic is going to come off pina monti's going to come on this is worrying here mendez on the ball Moving forward, Mendes tees it in. Benazzi, it's offside. Woo! Bye, Benazzoli. Bye. Bye, idiots. Absolute scenes, I tell you. Anyone that thought I'd made a mistake coming in at Fiorentina, you, you might have been right at the start, but not anymore, boys. Not. I, 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 I. Verdi on the ball. Just, uh, just going to nip into tactics, I think. We'll just. Uh, just uh, so that's a very defensive. I think that'll do. Let's just um, let's just see this out, shall we? Yes, big win. Don't care about the clean sheets. Underrated or overrated? That's what they are. Bang! Get in. We're sick. At the start of the season, we didn't even win a game. I don't think so. Like a fourth or fifth game in. Now we've won five straight against all the teams you'd expect us to. Maybe apart from Lazio and Torino away. Those are two. Really difficult games, and we've absolutely, I'd say we dominated most of them. Oh, mate, I can't believe it. We're down to 7th after everyone else plays their games. Last year, just go ahead of us again with a 2-2 draw against Napoli. But look at this. Suddenly, we're in with a shout here. We're only two points behind Napoli, for Christ's sake. We'll come back then at the end of February, because what we'll do is we'll play Napoli at home. Because like I said, they're just ahead of us. And then we'll play Roma away. Two big games in context of the Europa League qualification. There's big games in between now and then. We've got Milan at home. We've got Inter obviously in the cup. If there's a cup round before that, I might play that and on camera as well. Because obviously that's one of the trophies I need to win. But the, these are two big ones here. Two really big games in the context of Europa League football. But how impressed are you with the job that we're doing here at Fiorentina? Do you think we can make... Europa League, could we possibly even sneak into Champions League? We are 10 points behind. It feels like a long, long way back. I mean, look at how close that is. There's three points separating four teams there. There's a significant drop-off between those four and everyone else in the league. But we're in there. We're in there. And that is all that matters. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope that you have enjoyed it. Don't worry, tomorrow I will have changed my shirt. Um, if you have enjoyed it and you can't smell it, then please do drop a like, share, and subscribe. And until I see you again, take care of yourselves, everyone, and stay cool. I'm after you, mate. I'm after you.